I'll tell you a story from my own upbringing, uh, and this is in my first book, Into the Magic Shop, uh, Neurosurgeon's Quest to Discover the Mysteries of the Brain and the Secrets of the Heart. Uh, it's a long title. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> I grew up in poverty. My father was an alcoholic, and my mother had had a stroke when I was a child, partially paralyzed, seizure disorder, chronically depressed, attempted suicide. We were on uh, public assistance. Uh, um, we were evicted from different residences. And of course, as you know, uh, uh, this idea of adverse childhood experiences, you know, the more of these things you have, the less likely you are able to be, quote unquote, successful by modern society terms. And in fact, many of these children uh, become drug or alcohol abusers or have mental illness. But what changed everything for me uh, was going into a magic shop uh, uh, and having a woman there who was not the owner but the owner's mother who knew nothing about magic. But she talked to me, and she was one of these individuals with this radiant smile and presence that embraced you. But the important part about it was she created an environment of psychological safety. Mm. She didn't look down on you. She didn't judge you. She listened to what you had to say. And after about 15 or 20 minutes, and you have to remember this was before mindfulness or neuroplasticity was even thought of, she said to me, she said, I'm here for another six weeks. If you come in every day, I'll teach you something that I think could really help you. And in the course of that interaction, she did teach me fundamentally a mindfulness practice, but it included a self-compassion practice, a compassion practice, and at the end of it, a visualization uh, practice, which ultimately is a manifestation practice. The problem with it was that I was 12, and she had, had me make a list of 10 things I wanted, which was a Rolex watch, a Porsche, a match, a, a million dollars. The point of that is you can get misguided, uh, and you, but you do have to take the time to have this internal examination. And you mentioned partners. People around you, in general, I would say, want to help you if you actually seek out and ask for help, right? Uh, and that can be one of the greatest gifts uh, you can get. And it also strengthens the other aspect of this, which is uh, human connection. 